Hey everyone, Karen the Warp Spinster here. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad to have you with me today. Please remember to like and subscribe. Today I'm going to do some more fence things following the triple rail fence wonkification I did last time. And I have some strips again, and then I also have some pretty raggedy white strips here, scrap strips. And I have quite a lot of black and white stripe strips <laughs> in the drawer, my re newly reorganized drawer. So what I think I want to do this time is a wire fence. So that would mean very narrow strips. At some point I may do like barbed wire. I think this whole series is going to be don't fence me in. Um, but I was thinking ordinarily, you know me, I would be doing white as a background and then the bright strips as the uh, accents or as the wire in the fence in this case. But since these are going to be very narrow strips to simulate sort of the wire, then I would necessarily, unless I cut really teeny tiny narrow seams, I would be pressing the brights toward the white. And I don't want any of that shadow through. So I think I'm going to flip it and do these strips as the background and then narrow white strips in between. So it'll be kind of a positive negative switch there. I could also do the background in black with the brights, which would be very striking, but I'm thinking that I might want to put these together into a quilt, uh, probably a small quilt, but a quilt. And I don't know that I want that much contrast in the backgrounds. Well, although it might be kind of interesting since I'll have black and white stripes in them that might contribute to the black versus white. So maybe we'll try a little bit of that too. But I want to start out with these strips. Uh, these are left over from, what was I doing with these? Oh yeah, the bear paws. No, no, this was for another quilt. <laughs> I'm doing a class at a nearby quilt shop um, this fall and I didn't have the 10 inch squares that I wanted. So I'm cutting up fat quarters and this is what's left from doing that. So these aren't perfectly straight, which is okay because I probably don't really care about them being perfectly straight. The wire fence has been, I don't know, deer have butted against it a couple of times or whatever. The, <laughs> the wire fence is, I was just thinking this morning while I was thinking about this, back in the day when I was working and was driving around the state all over and we're a rural largely rural state and I'd be driving past a, a pasture and all of a sudden these cows would make a beeline for the fence and just stand there and watch me go by and you know I don't I'd like to think they were coming to say hello that's what I told myself which is you know no <laughs> maybe they were bored Mostly they were looking for the hay wagon, I think, the feed wagon. Anyway, um, so I have this picture of cows watching as I went by. Who knows what was going on in their brains. <laughs> I should do a quilt of that with the, the cows. You know, I could get black and white spots. Yeah. Actually, we don't have any of those in this state. But I digress a lot. So let's get started on this. I'm not going to be particularly careful about these being straight. I don't even care if they're straight lines. They could be a little bit curvy, maybe. Boy, do I have some pressing to do on some of these strips. And I want these to be pretty narrow. That is bias, which is probably not ideal. 
and I can do some short strips. And I'm, hmm, what I'm also thinking is that maybe in the end, I don't know, maybe those white strips are going to get lost. We'll see how it goes. Maybe in the end, I'm also going to want to do some cross pieces because there are wire fences like that as well. Lots of choices. Don't fence me in on my choices. So let me just do some narrow strips here. I might purposely cut these, some of these a little crooked so that they aren't straight lines. That's just not me, you know that. I will give that a go come back and show you what that looks like and we can try out some other things. And here we have a wire fence. Now, while this is fine, it it isn't doing what I want because of course the focus is on the patterned strips, patterned and colored strips rather than on this. So, as always, we do not have to have this be a duplication or an actual representation of what a wire fence would look like, which is really good because, of course, this is not it. <laughs> it could just be a strip piece thing, and that's fine. I'm thinking I will do it with the black background and these strips, which I think will give the effect that I'm looking for. But I'm also thinking about if I, if I've got a narrower strip here, not really, if I were to do something that would represent posts in between. So I'd have a couple of these strips and then in between them, I would have a black and white stripe that would represent the post that the wire is attached to. What do you think? Or I could just piece it into this, not to put two pieces together, but, or I could do both actually, which might be good. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to think about that. But in the meantime, I want to try doing this idea. And this is kind of the width of strip that I was thinking about. I was a little bit, my eyes weren't, were too big for, I don't know. <laughs> These are bigger than I planned on. This is more the effect that I was going for. And this is about an eighth of an inch wide. And so that you don't have to listen to our emergency siren test, I will go <laughs> and repeat this process, but use black for the background and then these colored strips for the wire. Here is the black and bright strip. And I love this. It, maybe not exactly what I was thinking of. It's a lot of black, but I really love the pop in these narrow strips. So I'm liking that. And to be fair, I need to try a similar thing to what I did with the other if I put strips through it. It's almost, I don't know, I think it takes away from, it draws the attention away from these to this. And if I think about, say, what if I had black and white in contrast to each other and then put that in between, maybe. Um, I don't know. These seem pretty dissimilar. And part of it is because these are wider strips, of course. If I were to look at just this part of it, it might be a different story. I wonder if, what if I did the reverse here so that I had these with a narrow black strip in between? How would that look as contrast? 
I actually don't mind it so much if we just look at this narrow white in between. That's kind of interesting. So maybe what I need to do is just kind of redo this and make these two strips narrower. This one isn't even too bad, but this one is definitely not in keeping with what the rest of it is doing. And not that this is bad, I, I like this too, but if I'm wanting these, if I'm trying to compare these and maybe wanting these to do an alternating thing, then I really need to have something that's a little more comparable. I could, as I did with the triple rail, turn it this way and still have that in between. Hmm. I think I will try that to do a, a shorter strip set that is this configuration of brights and white, but make sure that they're all this narrow white. See how that comes out. And here is the narrow white stripe. I'm liking that better than this one for the purpose I had in mind. Still like that one, but for a different project, perhaps. All right. Sorry, I had to take off the black glove. It was throwing off the lighting on the camera. Now, I, I kind of like those together and want to look at a transition between them. I'm not sure I like that. I'm surprised. I'll bet you're surprised too that I don't like a black and white stripe in there. I don't mind it so much down the middle there. But I don't like it in between those. This is probably too long for one thing, this piece. I think the whole composition would be better if this was a shorter piece. So I'm going to make it a shorter piece. Because that's what we do here, right? So now we have these two closer to size, just for argument's sake here, so we can see what it looks like if we alternate. And this way we don't have to worry about how these are going to look, whether they match up or not. Yeah. All right, what happens if we do just continue this, have this just break into this? Nope, I don't like that as well. What do you think? I'm not making a hard and fast decision today, but I like that better. So there's good contrast between the black and the brights all around. And just thinking about, if we start alternating them. And maybe I don't want to make this a nine patchy triple rail. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, but kind of liking that. I always have to keep trying to put in the black and white stripe. Maybe that's just the wrong stripe. How about never give up is my motto. We say put that in. Between. Oh, well, that's not so bad, is it? Maybe it was just the bias stripe that was bothering me. That's not so bad. I don't know that I want it to be that wide a strip, but that's kind of fun. What do we do with even that really big stripe we have? See if I can find a piece here. And apparently I can't, but I I rather like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's better. All right, let me grab another piece of that here so we can 
Oh, there's the really big stripe. Let's try that over here. All right, maybe we'll try that to be straight. You know what? I rather, I'm rather enjoying that. Something a little different from I kind of like it. Alrighty. All right, that's fun. I like that. Now, just because it's me, <laughs> we are going to try. Sorry, I'm down below here with a thought, which may or may not be a big. Now, this is too big, of course, way too big. I wish I had a smaller one already cut. Let me see here what I can do. I'm going to go away and cut a circle. I'll be back. I have a circle. This one may be too small. But just have little little drops of spots coming down. Oh, I'm liking that. I may have to cut a couple more. See how it looks. A little rain on the fence. And a couple more drops. I am not hating this. I do have to trim these off though because they are a little bit craziness in my brain here. Really mean to trim that too, but here we are with that. Okay. I'm making a mess on camera live not really live i'm going to finish trimming this and come back this will just drive you up a wall all right that's a little easier to visualize and i would just have to think about that's too wide this one maybe could be a little wider because the stripe is narrower or they could be just teeny tiny barely hint of a stripe. Hmm. I actually think I've stumbled on something <laughs> that I like. This is okay. This is not at all what I thought it was going to be today, but it's good. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you like this better or what I've done with these concepts with the narrower pieces? And how would we feel if we did some more work on this one, but all right, I will get this eventually, people. If we did say a strip down the middle of this, maybe not that wide. And yeah, let's make that narrower. Something like that, I think might add to this. What if we were to slice this in half, flip one side of it and Put that in between. It's only fabric, right? Flip this side and put that in between. All right, you guys are taken off stage here. And honestly, I can't hang on to that today. Here we go. It's because it's too long. It's dragging me down. And something like that narrow strip in between. That makes it kind of more interesting. You got that.
composition of, say, this one and that one. They're turning different directions, which I think is, I think it's better this way. I don't think it's wanting any strips on it because it's got so much going on anyway. So, that wouldn't be a bad one either. All right, what other ideas do you have for this? You know, could try black circles though. Have you noticed I'm, I'm back onto bars and circles again? You may have noticed that. All right, I decided I would try a little black. Oh, see, I'm telling you. I know, I'm obsessed with circles, but I think they make everything more fun. Well, not everything. I stand corrected on that. But I think that has some possibilities. None of these or anything like what I originally planned two weeks ago to be doing, but I like them. Happy I did them. Not sure how I'll feel about what I had originally planned was a barbed wire kind of thing but maybe we'll explore that next week maybe we'll do something else but we have come to the end of our explorations for this week anyway thank you again so much for joining me and i hope i will see you next week whatever we decide to do and in the meantime be well be safe be happy be quilting peace out <music>